I am super excited to share some news with you. Cricut Design Space now offers an offset feature. Okay, what is offset first off? So offset allows you to add a shadow or um, second layer behind things. So a little background. Before this feature was available, um, let's say I typed in the word offset and I wanted to make that a two colored word so that it had layers. The only way to do this before was to go over to my filter and use a multi-layer font. And let me just find one. Let's use this one. And you'll see that this has two layers to it. This one is a purple layer and then it has a swirly layer. But there's also some fonts that would have, let's try this one. So this has its first layer and then the second layer is turned on, off, I'm sorry. So now if I turn it on, you can see it adds the layer um, for a shadow. So you can do two colors. Okay, so that was before offset was available. You had to use a multi-layered font. Now, with offset available, I could take this font, which is a single layered font. Let's look in the layers panel, single layer. There's only one layer here, but now I can go to the offset button and I can either have a curved offset. Let's look at that real quick. See how that curves around or I have a really sharp offset and that goes more harder corners. Um, I am going to just use the rounded offset. Now, here's another little thing I've been playing with. If I have the weld offset clicked, see how where those offsets touch, it's smooshing them together, welding them together. If I uncheck that, it'll overlap them. So maybe I want individual letters and each layer to have its own offset. That's fine. So I can do that. Or I can weld the offset and now it will all go an offset around the whole word basically. Okay, so let's go apply. There's the first offset. What if I wanted to add a second offset? I'm going to click on the layers panel. This is why I click on the layers panel. If I want to add a second offset to this and I click here, what I actually clicked on was the text, not the offset. So it's kind of tricky to catch that offset here from the canvas. So if you click over here on the layers panel where it says text offset, now I can add another offset. And I really like this little blue line that shows you the offset because then you can go, you know what, I want it bigger. Or I want it smaller. So you can play with it. Um, so then I'm going to apply that one. And then over here in the layers panel, I'm going to change the colors. So then what's going to happen when I do this is when I go to click make it, it's going to sort each one of these onto its own layer and its own mat because it's set for different layers and different colors. Let's see that. Okay, so I had that huge. Um, then I want to show you another thing. So because I had that huge, and that's not what I want, I want to cut this smaller. So do not do this. Do not just click here. Because if I click here and try to resize, see how I just grabbed the yellow layer? Can okay, undo to get it correctly. Make a big window around this whole thing. And then you want to group them. By grouping this, I can now resize all of my different offsets and layers and keep those colors to them. Okay, so remember, group your layers. Do not weld them. Weld them will make them all one layer. Do not attach them. You want to group your layers. Okay, so now the last thing I want to show you is on an image. And 
and I'm going to just use this flamingo. So, well, oh, that loaded fast. Okay, let's say I wanted to do this flamingo, and I wanted to do them in pink. But I wanted to put it on a pink shirt, so that wasn't really going to show up well. So I can add an offset around that. And I can do the offset in a different color. So it's thinking right now. It was planning out where the offset was going to go. And I get a little preview with that blue line, which is gorgeous. I love that. And now I can make that offset gray. Because if I do that uh, pink shirt, it's still going to show up because you'll have that layer of gray breaking it up. This is also going to be great for projects with those knockouts because you need to make an offset of your text and that's what you'll you'll slice that offset to get that knockout look. Um, for stickers, when people are like, oh, I want like a white bubble border around my image. Well, you could do that now because you could take any image, add that offset, then you would flatten this whole thing to make it a sticker. Um, so if you are excited about offset as I am, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel so you get updates and notifications for all my newest videos, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next because your questions and comments often turn into my next video. So I can't wait to see what you say about Offset and how excited you are.